Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you a Aldi shop. I have done a really big Aldi shop. I spent just over £58 and I really like to see what people have got. So I thought I'd share it with you. I've done them before, uh, I think on my channel, I can't remember now. Sorry about my terrible nail varnish and sorry about all that. That is all for packing to go to the new house, but you know, that's the way it is. So I'm about to cook some dinner um, and I'll show you that in a bit, but I just wanted to show you what I got. So um, these are really good value. They're 99p for a pack of 10 slices and they're actually not too bad. I uh, tend to just use one and a half slices on a slice of bread for a sandwich. Claire likes them with salad and salad cream for, for lunches. So I've got two packs of those. 99p is not bad at all. Some cottage cheese for me. Some hummus, which we're going to have with some dips and some like carrots and stuff. Uh, I've got a bit of coleslaw because I'm making some homemade burgers um, this week. Um, these are so nice if you've not had them before. These are mini roulades. This is a garlic and herb one, which is, you know, an average. But this one is the pineapple and almond, and it's so delicious. If you've not had it, you must try it. Um, big packet of grated cheddar, the, just the, again, the mild one. Um, we use it in, uh, if we're having fajitas or whatever. Um, I bought some romaine lettuce. I just noticed that this one's a bit brown, but that's right, it's the outer leaves anyway. Bought some romaine lettuce to have for our salads. Moving on, these grapes look so nice. I love red grapes, they're my favourite, but I can only have a handful because they sort of give my stomach some issues. They had the mixed peppers in a bag, but they had all yellow and a red. Like, when do you ever get that? I love that because I don't like green peppers packet of bananas uh these baby plum tomatoes were half price because tomorrow's the last day but they last so long and i usually cook mine um with breakfast so i've got those I've got a honeydew melon a pack of three onions to have with our burgers um a pack of golden delicious for claire some carrots to have our carrot and hummus and some cucumber of course as well so mushrooms, we're going to have a mushroom and chicken sachet dish from the Pinch of Nom book. Um, the crossless cheddar and bacon quiche is the best one we've ever had. It's so, so nice. I'm not a massive fan of pastry, but I do like quiche. So it has got a tiny layer of pastry on the bottom. It's really, really good, this. The uh, bacon's really nice as well. It's not too chunky, not too smoky, really nice. Packet of potatoes, because we're having... Uh, some mashed potatoes and some home fries. Um, I bought these, I believe, the Haddock Fish Cake. So we're 50% off. They will go straight in the freezer. I think they can go, yeah, they're freezable. I always do, I love things that you can freeze. Um, packet of chicken. I bought the medium sized pack because although I like buying the bigger packs and freezing them, they just go to waste. It's terrible. I, it really does my head in. I bought some of these. Um, they're like pepperamis. I didn't like the ones they used to do, so I'm hoping these are a bit different. So we'll see. Trying them again because they're like half the price of pepperami. Some turkey mints. We never have um, beef mints anymore. We prefer turkey mints, the 2% one. It's so low in fat. Just prefer it, that's all. Um, and then I bought these that I'm hoping are freezable as well. Doesn't actually say on the packet. Um, but they're chicken and chorizo kebabs. They're half price. I thought they looked really nice. I hope they are freezable, but it doesn't say. Um, freezing, suitable for freezing, yes. Perfect. Uh, these yogurts are the best yogurts in the whole world. Thick and creamy peach and passion fruit ones. They are really bad for you, <laughs> but they're the best yogurt. So go figure. I'm just going to have those. I hate low fat yogurts. I hate them. I think they just taste like saccharin. Um, these are just really nice. So definitely try them if you're a yogurt fan. Um, a couple of the packets of the basmati rice. One of these does me and Claire really nicely. It's exactly the right portion size for us. So we have one of those, or what's really nice is we'll mix it with the chicken and maybe some veg if we want a quick, quick dinner. Um, I bought these Jaffa cakes for me for the week. 
because I saw on Soferina's channel that she compared them to normal Jaffa cakes and she preferred these so I am going to trust her judgment and give them a try because they were a lot cheaper. Um, for Claire's lunches I bought some seal bars, the same as penguins. Favourite gravy ever, some quick so. This is the best gravy, it is so so nice. They had in the middle aisle these Heinz beans barbecue, I love barbecue beans. So I'm going to have that possibly with our, one of our dinners this week. I might have it for lunch on toast. Um, I got six free-range large eggs because I think we're going to have a uh, sausage, egg and chips one night, like homemade chips. Flushable toilet wipes, these are really good. They're the same as the Andrex ones, but these are 55p instead of a pound. So whitening toothpaste. This green pea penne is really nice. Um, they sell it in Sainsbury's, I believe, but this was so cheap. So I bought two packets of that because I'm going to have that as my salad. I'm trying not to eat too much bread during the day. Um, then I'm having... Oh, and they're gluten-free. Um, they're, they're really... Look at that. They're all green. Look at that. It's great. So worth a try if you're looking to sort of... If you enjoy pasta but you want something a little bit lower in carbs, higher in fibre some salt and vinegar rice cakes and then some snacks for the evening i love this chocolate i think it's really nice chocolate so you get like a line i have like one line in the evening so i've got the salted pretzel and the fruit and nut which is really really good um claire likes these really delights they're a bit like the kinder chocolates and then we've got some spirals which are a bit like the buenos but i like the chocolate rather than hazelnut so they're lovely bought some honey nut cornflakes for breakfast um strawberry crisp and also pecan and maple crisp i want to try those somebody said they were really nice and i wanted something different for breakfast and then we got this is the best pizza in the world if you i'm not a massive fan of pizza it's really really thin and it's got this like sweet onion base instead of tomato with ricotta spinach and mushrooms and it is so good beautiful pizza one of the best pizzas i've ever eaten it's my favorite and then we've got this four cheese one this is 89p this is one pound and 19 i think hi guys i just actually wanted to quickly nip in here and show you the pizza as you can see it is like edge to edge look like there's no not a massive fan of crust to be fair and look how thin it is so thin so that is it about to go in and this is it out of the oven just looks so nice doesn't it and then we've got a massive giant big bag of these crisps which are actually really nice what i like about these is they're not too flavory and I know that sounds really weird, but it's not overpowering. I don't like smoky bacon, but I do like beef and onion. So Claire doesn't like beef and onion. She likes smoky bacon. We just share the rest. So that's what we went for. So that is our shop. Let me know if there's... Oh, I forgot to mention the, um, the orange juice, I think. Anyway, let me know if there's anything here that you enjoy or you want me to give a review on, maybe and i will do that so yeah that is my aldi shop give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it comment down below let me know what you think and yeah i'm getting some really good comments so it's really nice to have you back um commenting i love it i'll see you in my next video anyway bye